Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. How do I use UMG to make a blueprint only input mapping system? For this example, let's go and run it. This is a very basic and simple example. This example is not intended to be a full project. There is a Unreal Concept video for a full project. This video is simply intended to show how you might use various functions inside of UMG to allow you to remap keys using only blueprint nodes. So here's my character, you can run around, spacebar will jump. If I pull up my options menu, my O key is my options menu for example, we see one input mapping. Like I said, simple example, this is just showing a simple way, taking input and doing stuff with it. Right now it shows the spacebar is my jump input. If we close this, spacebar is my jump input. We'll pull it back up. I'm going to change this. I'm going to change this to the U key. And now you see jump is U. I'll close this. Spacebar no longer jumps, but the U key jumps. Not a problem. We'll open up the options menu. We'll go ahead and hit O. Well, you notice it didn't change. Well, it's because I told it not to accept the O key because that's my options menu. We'll change it back to spacebar and close this. And now spacebar is back to jump. We can save it out. We can see in our project settings, spacebar is our jump key. To show you the example again, we'll options, changes to you, close this out, close the program, go to project settings. You'll notice instead of spacebar, it's the U key. I've gone ahead and removed that existing mapping and changed it using existing nodes. So let's take a look at all of our nodes and how this is set up. One thing to note, this was added in 4.17, so you'll need at least 4.17 or later in order to use this. Now, this is a very simple example. I'm not going through all the mappings. I'm not setting up a robust setting screen. That is covered in a separate example, a concept for an actual settings screen using key mappings. All I'm doing is getting my jump mapping, grabbing the first key for it, in this case, it'll be the space bar more than likely. Saving that out as my current action key mapping. And then I'm going to go ahead and set my selected key to that value. Remember, just a basic example. This is something you would do, but maybe in a loop by looping over all of your keys if you want to show them and allow them to edit all the keys. But for my one example, I'm just grabbing the one key and setting my value to that key. So that's why when we hit the O key, you see it says spacebar. That's why I'm setting it right here. Now, when we actually push a key on the keyboard after we've selected it, so for example, changing the spacebar to the O, our on key selected node fires. It says, hey, I've got a new key, or I've got a different key, or someone pushed a key other than up escape, or whatever you've said not to use, and now you might want to do something with it. I grab the saved action mapping, the one that we got in the beginning, and I remove it from our key inputs. So now I no longer would have space, for example. After that, I grab the key that was put in, I break it apart, and add it to the action mappings for the jump key, and I just pull it in here. And then I go ahead and make another input key mapping and set that as my current key. So what this is doing is removing the old key, setting the new key, and storing the value of the new key so the next time we come through, we remove the old key or the value we saved and set the new one up. And that's it. It's just a simple process for changing out the keys. And as you can see here, well, that's what it does. It works. Spacebar jumps, change out my option. We're going to change this to something like the R key. Now, the remember, what that did was it deleted the old one, set the new one, and then saved it. We wanted that done because now we have R as our saved value. Click on it. Hit the U key, now use our new value, and we can close this, and I hit U, and I can jump with U. This is a quick and dirty way of doing it. In a full production level one, you'd probably want to use a few of the other nodes. Like, for example, getting all of your action or axis mappings, the names of them, taking that array, iterating over the array, showing all your values, iterating all your values, maybe limiting it to one or two, whatever you want grabbing the current value out of here. So for example, my input key selector on this one right here, the on is key changed. This will actually fire off before this does. 
And this, we can get the current value. So instead of doing this right here, removing the saved value, we can actually get the current value, remove it, and then grab the new value and set it. So that would be more efficient. But again, this is a simple example showing how you might use some of the nodes added in 4.17 to make a blueprint only key binding and remapping system. Also keep in mind, I can go in here, it's you, I can hit right mouse button, close this, and now my right mouse buttons jump. It works with keyboard, it works with mouse, and if you tell it to, we'll go to our designer, we'll go to here for example, and you allow it to use gamepad keys, you could even use the gamepad key inputs. And that's it, that is our simple, how do I make a blueprint input mapping system in UMG that only uses blueprints. One thing to note that I don't have in here, if you want to try to copy this and you haven't watched any of the other videos, which you should, each individual node has a video covering it, is we didn't use the save mappings node. So let me grab my input settings here and let's do my save key mappings. This should be done when you are done or else it's not gonna save out your key mappings in a compiled standalone version. The editor will go ahead and automatically add and remove in real time, but a compiled built standalone version will not. You need to make sure you're using your save key mappings node when you're done. And that's it. Hopefully this helped out to show how you could easily use blueprint only nodes added in 4.17 to handle remapping.